A lot of the people that are, are watching this, maybe that are hip to pentatonics, maybe yeah. are thinking Stevie Ray or whoever, or Clapton. Yeah. So we're, we're not talking about playing in that matter, in the sense of like bends and all that. But right. um, I did want you to really quick, because we're, we're you know, getting to the questions era, yeah. this, just give them a little taste of the, the bending stuff that you okay, were talking cool. about. Yeah, I will. Uh, first of all, those demonstrations of the pentatonic, as you said, a pure pentatonic. They don't have any bends in them. A lot of people think of this. Uh, they think of that as a pentatonic. That is a pentatonic scale with bends, which is what I'm going to talk about really quick. That's that's also another feature of the course that I have uh, written. Um, so the dem the things that we just spoke about are pure pentatonics, no bends at all. Mm -hmm. If you start bending, then you're creating other sc scales because that's the whole point of a bend. You're bending a note, you're pushing it up, and it's increasing in pitch. So you're ostensibly adding a note to the um, to the existing five note scale. So a lot of times, if you bend a note, it becomes a six note scale. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, also within the course. We get into the bends, which is I'm going to demonstrate real, real quickly. We take all five positions of the pentatonic, as we meant. We take all five positions of the pentatonic, and usually um, I start off both in the college and in the online course. I start off with a bend, which is the simplest and most common of all bends, which is taking the fourth degree of the scale and bending it up a half step um, to the flat five. Now, real quick, the disclaimer is that you should really be the judge of your own physical capabilities. I have a strat, I have 12s on my strat, and I can bend them. Uh, usually when you start getting into bending, you do want to really listen to your body and not use strings that are too, uh, too heavy because you don't want to wind up injuring or tendonitis or any of that kind yeah. of stuff. So I would say if you want to get into bends, uh, start off with light gauge strings and then work on things like intonation. And so real quick, what you take this, you take the basic scale. <laughs> When I get to four, which is actually the third, the C, I bend it up a half step. And then continue up the scale till I get to the other C and bend that up a half step. So it'll sound like this. Now, ostensibly, what we're doing is adding a note, and that note is traditionally known as the blue note. Mm -hmm. And so basically that's what we're doing, we're creating the blue scale. And real quick, this is the quick version. But you do it in all positions. stuff's cool because it yeah. can turn into licks like it can turn into a Absolutely. lot of really neat stuff that people yeah. don't haven't discovered yet exactly and it's a whole system of bends you know where we take that those basic positions of the pentatonic that people are already familiar with uh, you take that and then you just change one note I have something in my course I think I have something like six or eight bends you know yeah, that we do and we do them that. in all positions and then there are different combinations of bends that you can do. And then if you memorize them in, in, the, in the scale patterns, then eventually, you know, in the middle of a solo, you're like... Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And you yeah. do all the bends. <laughs> and if you, don't, if you don't know all five positions of the pentatonic scale after you've gone through all that stuff... Yeah. Oh, yeah, you should know it. I mean, I did that class and, and it yeah. and it'll, you know, teach you all those positions. You're going to know them like the back of your hands.